We have Isaiah Jones from London, Ohio, a linebacker. And I just before we went on, I realized that I wrote about his dad, DJ Jones, years ago from Lebanon, Ohio. But Isaiah, three sport guy or two sport guy? Three sport guy. Football. Okay, I face. saw you shooting the hoops there on the highlight huddle highlights. You, you, you saw threes, a little bit of the highlights. Man. You, you, you got you on, on the highlights on huddle. You got the three. You got to get the your hands up a little bit higher on that three shot, three point shot. What else do you play besides basketball? So I do track and field. What's the shot field. and discus? Yeah, I do shot and disc. How far do you throw the shot? So because of COVID, I didn't have my sophomore year. So my freshman year, I was about a 44 in shot and then around a 140 in disc. Is that right? Wow. Yes, sir. Then you should be doing track because right. those are pretty good numbers for a little guy at that time. I'm right. joking with you. Yeah. Speaking of that, you're obviously a three-sport guy. How big are you? How, what are your measurements right now? So I'm 6'2", 220 pounds. Okay. Okay. I watched your highlight film, and uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. Tell me, as you start this interview, who who really looks has been good to you? Who who have you kind of looked up to as a role model or a been influential on you? Anybody in, has done that to you? So speaking of my dad, I'd say my dad's been my biggest advocate throughout all my sports. He's been coaching me since I was little and, you know, he played in college. So he, he knows the game and he knows what he's doing. So he's always just been my biggest advocate, my biggest, my biggest cheerleader. And uh, he's always, he's always one of the best for me. So it'd definitely be my dad. That's really good. And he's been there. He knows what that whole recruiting system is all about. And we'll just mention it real quickly. He did play at Ohio state. So that helped him a little bit with knowledge and background. Yeah. Okay, how do you how do you look at life, Isaiah? What are words you live by? I mean, like for me, it's to be the best, to you know, and anything I do, and to finish. What's what are words you live by? So I would say perseverance and uh, faith. So no matter no matter what uh, kind of hand you're dealt in life, I think you can always you can always improve. And no matter how great you are, there's always room for improvement. So, and then on the faith part, I would say, you know, nothing, nothing I have doesn't come through God and God's been a big impact on my life. And I would say that anything I have is, has come from him and through his blessings. That's really good to mention that your dad was a disciple of John Reed who passed away a few years ago. So yes, he was. I see that whole chain. John Reed, your dad, and you, that's a pretty good chain. And I think the same ways. Tell me, is there anyone you kind of look forward to, look at, idolize as far as a player, any pro or college guy? Um, so I have, I would say two. I would say Ray Lewis because just his tenacity and ferocity on the field, just being able to make plays for 19 years, something like that in the league, just being able to like, be the best for so long. And then also say Luke Keekley is like one of the newer guys in the league. Like he was not the biggest, the fastest, or the strongest, but he, he knew where to be, when to be, and he played with intensity. And I just loved watching how he could get to the ball before with like knowing when the ball is going to be before the play would happen. You know, he was just okay speed wise. He was just okay side wise right. and all that. And he, he changing direction, but you just saw it in him. And I knew when he was a senior, he was going to be pretty good. And uh, he now he's retired, but he's pretty smart because he yeah. he played very very hard. Okay, what um, what do you do when nobody's watching? You're playing three <laughs> sports, or let's make it easier. What do you do for fun? You're playing basketball, football. It looks like you've lifting, you train and lift weights, and you play track. Right. And, my goodness, you almost hit 150 feet in the discus. So you're a pretty good athlete. So what do you do in your spare time? So I'm always getting my lifts in. And then I try to, I lift with my brothers a lot. So just spending time with my friends and family outside of sports, because it is a pretty busy schedule. But 
I, I like it. I think it keeps me busy, keeps us all out of trouble. So, in London, you got that nice McDonald's right there. I mean, <laughs> right. I, I stop there all the time. Right. On, on the outside. Okay, tell me what uh, what annoys you the most? What bugs you the most? Is it something it doesn't have to go. You don't have to go nuts on it. But what upsets you a little bit? What would upset me? Um, I would say like, you know, just people like as a person that would upset me, kind of like someone who I like, I like people like I, I just let my, my game speak for me. So like people that always like, like in basketball, you always have those certain people that try to talk trash, and, <laughs> you know, get inside your head, but then don't really perform. So just kind of people like that, you know, I think, I think if you're good enough, you just let your game speak for you. And you don't have to do like all the, the trash talk and the banter and all that. Uh, and you and just point to the scoreboard, man. That's right. You have to just, point to the scoreboard. Exactly. It's good. It's good. What advice? Now you're going into your senior year. Right. You're a leader. You did you start as a freshman? I forget what you said. Yeah, well, I, I, I started as a freshman. So what advice would you give to a freshman? What would you so, tell a freshman? I would tell them like never be satisfied because like I know we I know I live in London Ohio so like being a good athlete you're never competing against someone in London Ohio you're competing against the kids that are up in Columbus the kids are in the other states that that are just as good as you if not better probably better like you're not competing just against athletes in London Ohio and the surrounding like counties you're competing against kids across the country that want to come take your spot and want the same future as you so I would tell them to never be satisfied but also I'd say find the mix to also, you only got four years of high school. So to enjoy right. it and to spend time with your friends and family. That's, that's what I would tell them. Good. Good. That's really good. What's your biggest strength as a player? My biggest strength, I would say kind of like being able to know where the play is going to go and being able to, with my and meet, be there with my physicality, like get to the point of attack with physicality and, ferocity you're yeah, that's probably your best answer because on video what you do you, you've got a pretty good burst and but you finish and then you explode on contact right you know i've watched some of those tackles you made and uh but i would say that but then i have a question for you you also lined up at quarterback and threw the ball uh, you're playing linebacker, you're playing running back, you're playing quarterback. Now, you know, you need a little bit more zip on that ball to be a quarterback. I'm right. just joking around. I'm joking with you. But you did a good job. I mean, yeah, linebacker. And that is a strength, I think. And I would tell you, you also are able to find the football. Now, that sounds really silly, but guys can't. You right. know, in, in, inside linebackers, you're probably going to be a Mike backer. I would say, yeah, you know, tackle it. Now you still have to be able to run. The old days, linebackers have changed. You're right. I think the, the weaknesses. What are your? What do you have to improve on? Not necessarily a glaring weakness, but what do you have to improve on? So one of the things I want to work on this off season is kind of like technique inside the box, since it is my like last year was my first year playing Mike linebacker. So I would say my, my weakness is I would just want to work on technique and then just reading guards better, reading like counters and reading the offensive line through the backfield. That's good. And that's good. And I would say also, uh, you probably don't understand, but you need that quickness at first. And the also, I think the biggest weakness that linebackers have, especially guys like you, you've got to be able to change direction. Yeah. Boom, boom. Change direction. Boom, boom. And I, th I don't think they do a good enough job of that. And it will get, you know, it'll get better. Okay. That's really good. I, I tell you what, though, you are a smasher, but don't get caught up in trying to smash guys. Right. You know, those days are over. Your dad can remember when you had the old linebacker stepped up and filled. You want just the opposite now. I <laughs> end of sermon, but I'm just telling you some things. Yeah. Don't be caught up in trying to smash the guy over. You want to get away from the guy over you and yeah. run. That's that's really, really true. It sounds silly, 
but it's true. That yeah. quickness, you know, with the game has changed so much. What talent would you like to have that you don't have? What talent would you like to have that you don't have? I would say uh, I'd, I'd, I'd want to fly. <laughs> I mean, it might sound silly, but I've, I've been on an airplane and it's, it's, uh, it's breathtaking. I'd want to be able to fly. You know, you see birds just lightly just staying in the wind. I want to be able to fly. That's what I'd pick. <laughs> you know, I've never heard that one. That's good. That's really good. Uh, what's, what advice? You're getting in the recruiting process now, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. But what advice would you give to a junior or a sophomore that's being recruited, just starting the recruiting process, what would you tell them from your experiences? Isaiah? Well, I would say that like when you play, you never want to take plays off because the coaches look for the hustle uh, on your film. So never like you always want to be going 100% because they'll see you on film and they'll notice you. But also you want to put yourself out there. You want to like – be known to the coaches and you want to always be polite because you never know what's going to happen. Good. That's really good. Okay. Let's end up here with, uh, tell me about recruiting just a little bit. How is it going for you? So it's really picked up these last couple months uh, throughout the end of like December to, to now. So my first offer was after my sophomore year from Akron. Coach Feeney came down and we had a we had a great talk and he offered me a scholarship after my sophomore year. And then right before my second game last year in July, um, Cincinnati called Coach Freeman. That's who I was in contact with. Uh, they offered me a scholarship. And then after this year, after football season, um, Ball State, Bowling Green, That's Western good. Michigan, and then Minnesota, Coach Rossi. So we had a great, a good call. But that's, so those are the six scholarships I have right that's now. That's nice. That's nice. And you now you're just going to, you got a little bit of that off. You, you're under so much, the 23 class, 2023 is under, we talked earlier, Isaiah, they're under so much pressure because it's all messed up, the recruiting right. process. Right. And somehow, I hope you just got to, uh, the camps are, you know, that's a different story another time. But I just hope there's a time when you're going to be able to visit with high school coaches face to face, I mean, yeah. excuse me, college coaches. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to happen until June. I, I was hoping it happened that they would drop the dead period and let you go yeah. to campuses in May. And, and see, well, you can go to campuses now, but you can't talk right. to any coaches. Right. I mean, <laughs> big deal. But I hope it works out. Well, hey, I really Thank enjoyed you. visiting with you. And uh, I, I, it's good. I, I wish I had known more. You know, we right. have a little bit of uh, con connections there. And, right. uh, I'll Small help world. you. Okay? Yeah, thank you for having me on. That's really good.